Good morning, family of God. Welcome back to the Morning Devo. A new week, a new week, and it's um, incredible how fast this year has flown by. We're seven months into a new year, and where did it go, right? What did you do? What did I do? What did we say over our own lives? What did we say to others? Because I know for sure words matter. What we say matters. What we do matters. So, you know we need help with our way we talk. Self-talk, how we speak to others, how we speak to ourselves. Amen. How we speak to God, how God speaks to us. All of that is powerful. All of that is, you know, let's see, worth finding out. Amen. Worth finding out. Today... We're going to talk about real quickly, real briefly, with the little time that we have, we're going to be talking about self-talk. We're going to talk about words of life. How can we speak words of life, not only to ourselves, but to others? Because we see words of life all through the scriptures, but we also see other types of words. Words that could lead to murderous ambush. Words that could lead to death. Words that people have spoken over you and have spoken over me that have damaged us, that have hurt us. You know that old adage or that old saying when we were growing up, sixth and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. And that's such a lie. You know words hurt, right? And because words hurt, we have to be careful with what we say. Sean, good morning. Good morning for you to you as well. God bless you and thank God for another day. Yes, thank you. Jesus for another day. He is so good. He's so powerful. And he's so full of mercy and grace over our lives, man. The words of the Lord really matter. Amen. For sure. For sure, Sean. The words of the Lord really matter. Oh, I love that shirt, by the way. <laughs> yeah, man, I saw it in the archives in my closet. I said, let me break this back out. My hero shirt. But anyway, words can be... Thank you so much. Words can be used... As a murderous ambush. So how can we fight back with words of life? It's an exchange of words going on every single day, especially on social media, on outlets like that, that people are chiming in their opinions, you know, what they want, what they think about this, what they think about that. And I I go into forums, um, you know, just to add my opinion or comment. And man, people get angry real fast if you say something or if I say something that's outside of how they feel they get real angry and they they get back in there and they tell you off and they call you dumb and all these kind of names because they're speaking words according to their feelings imagine if I spoke my words according to how I felt um, every minute of the day or every hour of the day Um, my speech wouldn't be lining up with the word over my life and in my life because I'll be rolling around dealing with fleshly words and things that are, that are uh, that are inspired by the flesh, not inspired by Holy Spirit God. So I don't want to live that way. I want to live according to the scriptures. And I hope you want to do the same. So we're going to be in the book of Proverbs, chapter 12, verse number 6. It's a very short verse and it's a very short time that we have. But I just wanted to remind myself and remind you um, through the Holy Spirit, through the Word of God, Amen. That we could have words that can really save a life. Our words can save a life. We're saved by the word of God, the living word of God, which is the Lord. Amen. So therefore, we have his spirit, Holy Spirit, God living inside of us. So guess what? We could actually speak words of life. We don't always have to speak words that only cater to our flesh. We don't always have to be on a defensive. We could be on an offensive with our words. And we can inspire people with what we say and what we do and how we say a thing, right? If I say, God loves you, it is different than saying, God loves you. It's a difference, right? So we need to be, I need to be careful of how I speak and how I talk, amen? And do I always get it right? Absolutely not, with a capital A, absolutely not. I don't always get it right when it comes to the words that come out of my mouth. But what I do know is that God's word is always spoken truth is always speaking truth it's always right it's always presented um according to how god wanted to present his word amen it's his word and his word brings life amen his word brings life 
I'll challenge anybody who thinks that God's word brings death. God's words bring life. Sam, I got a question for you. Since we're talking about words, let's say you're trying to talk a a non-believer back into Christ. What would you say you can most likely come to Christ? What would say that you can most likely come to Christ? Thank you. Ignore the you. Okay. Yeah, you... um. Listen, talking about words, trying to talk to a non-believer back into Christ. Um, the question seems framed a little different than what I would think. But if it's the, a non-believer, they were never in Christ. But I guess, I guess you're saying that they said they used to believe in Christ and now they don't go. What can we say? We can only say that we're praying. Amen. I would say that I'm praying for that person. I would say that, um, you know, I would steer them towards the word and I would just pray and ask God silently in my mind while I'm speaking to them, what would God have for that person? What would God speak to that person? Because guess what? God still speaks and he speaks words of life. Encourage them, be with them. Um, They're a non-believer, whatever that means, whether they believe in something else or someone else to be God, whatever the situation is. I don't know the situation. But continue to speak life over the situation. Continue speaking inspiring words over their lives so that way um, you won't be blamed for um, hitting somebody or kicking somebody while they're down. Amen? Good. Thank you for the question, Sean. So let's do this. Let's pray. After we pray, we'll share this out for a minute or so. And then when we come back, we'll be in Proverbs chapter 12, verse number 6. Is that cool? Let's pray. Father, I thank you so much for this time, for today, for this moment that we shared together. I pray for every single person that's connected now and who will connect later to the live stream, to the podcast, on the website. Amen. I pray, Lord God, that you will continue to guard them, guide them, protect them, protect me and my family and my whole bloodline as well in the powerful name of Jesus, in the powerful name of Jesus. I pray, Lord God, that you will continue to inspire us, to fill us with your words so that we can speak your word through our very own mouths. Use us as mouthpieces of the gospel of your word to inspire people and to build people up, not to tear people down and um, teach us how to speak words of life but not words that lead to murderous ambush. I pray this by faith, knowing that you are able to do, according to your word, what you can do in our lives and every single life that's looking out for truth and looking out for justice and looking for righteousness, and they will find you. In Jesus' name, I pray this by faith. Amen and amen. So let's go for it. Let's go for it. Uh, Let's share this out. When we come back, we'll get into Proverbs chapter 12, verse number 6. I'll be right back. Amen, amen, amen. Welcome back. So let's go for it, man. Let's let's see what God has for us today in this Proverbs. Proverbs is one of those books of wisdom. We have Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, amen. Um, some people call um, the book of James, the New Testament Proverbs as well, amen. So let's do this, man. Let's get into it. Let's see what God has for us today, amen. Words of life here in the morning, Devo. With your brother Sam Lopez, aka DJ Sam Rock. So let's get the let's get what I have on the screen ready for the screen. If you're listening, you're on the back. Thank you so much, guys. 
And I hope and pray that God will inspire you to do something incredible today using you, using your own life to speak words of life, not words of death. And especially to ourselves, self-talk is very important as well. Speak words of life. You could be having a horrible day, right? And something about speaking words of encouragement over yourself, something about that helps you out. Helps you out a lot. Amen. Uh, so we could do this. I Trust me, we could do this. Amen. There's so many words that I speak during the day. Amen. That I use phrases and words. Um, when I do rap ministry, um, gospel rap ministry, there's words that are coming out the mouth. Amen. Are so powerful. And you can see it. It's, you ever said something and you spoke it out and you say, man, I wish I would not have never have said that. But you can't take the words back. Um, yeah, that's how powerful words are. Amen. Um, Sean says, oh, cool. A new 60 second timer. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. I hope you think it's cool. I think it's cool. All right. So let's get into it. Proverbs chapter 12, verse number six. Let's see what the word of God has for us today. Amen. So exciting <clears throat> to know that God continues to inspire us, continues to speak to us through his word. Proverbs 12, verse number six. The words of the wicked are like a murderous ambush. That's the word of God speaking right now. The words of the wicked are like murderous, like a murderous ambush. That's how serious God is saying that this word, um, you know, is that it could cause a murderous ambush. And if we're not careful, we could be part of that ambush. And uh, we don't want to be part of that. I don't want no parts of that. I don't want to be a part of an ambush. I want to be a part of inspiration. I want to be a part of bringing words of life. So the words of the wicked. What are the wicked? Those who are not inspired or not doing what God is calling them to do. They're doing what they want to do themselves. Um, those are considered wicked people. So the words of the wicked are like a murderous ambush. But the words of the godly saves lives, save lives. Come on, who wants to be a part of saving somebody's life through words? You could do social media, you could do um, podcasting, you could do live streams, you could be in meetings, um, you could be in circles of influence that you could speak a word of life and somebody in that crowd, somebody in that situation will wake up get out of their slumber, get out of their depression, get out of their inability to think correctly because you're speaking God's word. You're speaking words of life. You're speaking encouragement. You're speaking love. You're speaking grace. You're speaking mercy. You're speaking forgiveness. You're speaking dunamis power through your very own mouth because you're not wicked. You're the righteousness of Christ. You're the righteousness of God through Christ the Son if you're born again. So the words of the wicked are like what? Murderous ambush. And if you watched any kind of movie that deals with um, violence or war, I'm into Kung Fu movies. I've been like that since I was a kid. And there'll be somebody walking up the road, man. And then they'll send something. Something ain't right up that road. And they'll be like, it's an ambush. And usually when they say that, somebody or some people come out of the trees or behind a rock or whatever, out of a cave and they want to do something murderous. Words are like that. Words could be like that. And you don't want that part of the type of words like that to be part of what you're doing and what you're saying. I want to be on this part. But the words of the godly save lives. Amen. The words of the godly save lives. So what do you think about that scripture, man? And remember, I always tell people, read the whole chapter, not just that verse that I'm, we're on, but the whole chapter, because sometimes I might go on a, a rabbit trail or something like that, and I might be taking stuff out of context. Amen. So to make sure I'm on point, read the whole chapter for yourself. But that's what it says right there. We read it, man. Kingdom strong. God bless you, my brother, and my friend. Soul winners. Yes. Amen. We're so one is once we're once we get that that feeling of 
you know, when you see somebody respond to the gospel message and you were part of that through what you spoke over somebody's life, you'll be a soul winner for life. Amen. Seeing a life change because of a word that God gave you or God gave me and a life change because of that. So when it's for life, man, um, it's good to have you on the morning Devo. So listen, words can be used as a murderous ambush. We just saw that in Proverbs chapter six, um, Proverbs chapter 12, verse number six. Sorry. And how can we fight back with words of life? If we know that some words lead to murder, then we also know some words lead to life. If we know some words lead to death, we also know some words lead to life. So it seems like we have a choice to make. Are we responsible for what we say? Absolutely. Are we responsible for what other people say? Not at all. Are we responsible for the way we respond? Yes. Are we responsible for the way other people respond? Absolutely not. But the Bible is clear. Like you ever saw somebody that's angry and then wants to argue and their their you know their temper is flaring. And the Bible says you say a kind word and that simmers things down. Amen. That's how powerful God's word is. That's how powerful encouraging word or words are. That's how powerful words of life are. When we speak words of God, we're planting seeds of eternal life in somebody's mind, somebody's heart, somebody's situation, somebody's family, somebody's church, somebody's business. Amen. We're speaking words of life because we're ministers that walk in light and truth and with the salt of the earth. So we could do this. There's no problem with us speaking words of God. It shouldn't be. I know we live in a society that says, be quiet, Sam. Go into your little corner. Social media has me blocked. You know, all these outlets have me shadow banned, but we still continue to speak words of life. Amen. Why? Because I know sooner or later that word is going to hit somebody right in their spirit is going to matter to them on the day that they need an encouraging word the most. Amen. It could be that one person that sparks a whole revolution. That's why I'm not looking for numbers. I'm looking for souls. I'm not looking for money. I'm looking for souls. Amen. Souls that need this word. Souls that need the words of life. Souls that need Christ Jesus. Amen. So that way they could be saved, redeemed, transformed, restored, right? Born again. That's what we need. That's what I experienced in 2001, and I'm not backing up off that experience. I know what happened to me. Do you know what happened to you when you received the Lord Jesus Christ? When God came into your situation and shined light on your darkness, do you remember that day? I remember it like it was yesterday. I'm never going to forget it, and I'm going to keep moving because I know there's many more people like me that came from where I came from out there. So if you want to know what my target is, my target is the people that I know um, that were like me. Amen. Because I could relate. And God has a way and an ability of reaching people outside of my circumstance, outside of my situation, outside of the way I grew up. He has a way to reach people outside of those situations. How? Through his words. Amen. Through his word. Not my word, through his word. Sean says, words can be powerful. They can trigger good and bad emotions. Your teachings are powerful, Sam. Keep teaching the word. Thank you so much, um, Sean. That's what I intend to do to my last breath. Amen. I have these scenarios in my head about my last days. I don't know if today's my last day or whatever. So what I do is I make these scenarios just in case, right? Uh, and make sure I'm packed with words of life. Um, to those who are around me during right because you never know so I try to speak life one way or another in our situation through the situations that I'm in regardless of how I feel about something or how I feel about myself or if I'm tired or if I'm angry or if I'm a little bit off amen I still try to speak some word of life that's why I'm in these scriptures daily because sooner or later amen uh, it's going to Wake something up that's sleeping or falling asleep in my life. And it could do the same for you. Amen. It could do the same for you. God bless you too, Sean. So listen, words can be used as a murderous ambush. How can we fight back with words of life? Think about it. If you curse, if somebody curses you, right? We don't have to curse them back. 
So the Bible is clear. You never return evil for evil, but return evil with good. Amen. And I don't know about you, but we're in this whole thing of talking heads. I'm a talking head on the screen right now. I'm a talking a voice spoken through a microphone to the world on a, in the podcast world, right? On somebody's app right now, on my radio network right now, somebody's listening to these words of life. And they should feel encouraged. They shouldn't feel beat down after this word. They should be feel they should feel encouraged, inspired to read the word of God. Amen. That they're that they're made known, that they're acknowledged, that they're prayed for. Amen. That's why I have a prayer request um, tab on my website. That's why I have these podcasts. That's why I have a section for questions, comments, concerns. That's why I have a voicemail right there on my website. Amen. Why? Because I want to hear your story. I want to know how can I pray for you? How can I encourage you today? Because I'm an agent of change and all my brothers and sisters in Christ, guess what? You're an agent of change. You could do this. You could speak words. The, The cheat sheet of how speaking inspiring words is like this. Read the word of God daily and you will find that you will be speaking the word of God daily. I'm going to say that again. Read the word daily and you will realize that you're speaking the word of God daily. Amen. How do I know? All you have to do is read the word of God out loud over yourself, in your environment, in your room, in your job, whatever. Read it out loud. See what happens. Because the word of God is alive, powerful, sharper than any double-edged sword. And the word of God is able to do exactly what the word of God is called to do. The word of God is alive. God inspired the word. He is the word. Amen. The holy word of God. It's not a a made up story, a fantasy, a myth. No, it's the word of God, which is powerful. Amen. Which is true, which is kind. It speaks the word of God. When you read the scriptures, there's everything in there. It might not be according to your life. It's according to God's revelation in your life or over your life. Okay. My story to the T is not in the scriptures. And your story to the T is not in the scriptures. But you know what's in the scriptures? Right? The way to salvation. You know what else is in the scriptures? The way to life. You know what else is in the scriptures? Encouragement. Inspiration. We don't speak words of death. I only speak words of death over people or demons, right? That are trying to take somebody out. So, yeah, I curse demons in the name of Jesus. Right? I cast out demons in the name of Jesus. And how do we do this? They can't read our minds. So we have to speak the word of God. Speak words of life to things that are trying to bring death. And see what happens. And see whose whose word wins. Is it the word of God or the word of death? Is the word of life that wins or the words of death? Think about it. Amen? Think about it real good. Sam, I have a quick prayer request. And it's for my cat. We've had him since 2009. Wow. And he's been getting older. He's still kicking. But I would like a prayer for him to stay with us a little longer. Father, in the name of Jesus, pets become like family. And Father God, you know that. And you know how we are as humans and as animals um, come into that type of relationship. So I pray health over that cat and peace over that cat and longevity and long life of um of good health in Jesus name. Amen. And amen. So listen, I am out of here, ran out of time, but I'm not going to run out of word because the word of God is eternal. Amen. So know that, speak that, live that, say that over your own life in Jesus name. Amen. So I hope you have a great day. If you need anything, I'll be here. Lord willing. God bless you all. God keep you all. And remember always that God is good. Peace.